Makinde subdues Fayoshi as Arapaja becomes PDP Southwest Chairman. Arapaja floors or Lafeso emerges Southwest PDP Chairman. Congress, Arapaja emerges Chair. Makinde Fayoshi settles differences. I was built to be the best. Number one, nothing less. Lead me to my destiny. The journey began on the 23rd of February at this gathering at the Presidential Lodge, Government House at Godi Nibad of the Oyo State Capital. Eminent members of the People's Democratic Party from the Southwest Zone, ranging from the BOT members to former governors and their deputies, serving and past senators and state chairmen of the party to mention a few present at the meeting when Governor Sheikh Makinde so of Oyo State nominated Ambassador Taufik Arapaja as the preferred candidate to chair the leadership of the Southwest Zone. The nomination was unanimously adopted by all present at the event. While this was on, the faction led by former Governor of Ekiti State, Ayodeli Fayoshi, also nominated the immediate past chairman of the Southwest Zone, Dr. Eddie Olafeso, as the preferred candidate for the chairmanship position. Moved by the words of the American motivational speaker Les Brown, that life takes a meaning when you become motivated, set goals and charge after them in an unstoppable manner. Ambassador Arakbaja set out to fulfill his dream. It went from one state to the other in the zone, soliciting for the support of the PDP members to have a united front. And after weeks of conversing, he knew he had done his best and left the rest to fate. On April 2nd, 2021, the leadership of the People's Democratic Party PDP at the national level reaffirmed April 10th as the date for the Southwest Zonal Congress and picked Ibadan, the Oyo State Capital, as venue for the Congress. This was later reversed, not left with more choice. The National Working Committee chose Oshubu in Oshun State as the choice town for the Congress with 12th April 2021 announced as the new date. Ahead of the Congress, the screening committee headed by Senator Dino Milai arrived Oshobo to perform its statutory duty. Contestants from both factions were duly screened. At the end, 42 candidates were cleared to vie for elective posts in the Southwest Zonal Congress. <laughs> The long-awaited day finally arrives. The Women and Children Development Initiative Foundation Center, venue of the Congress, was full of activities. There was huge security presence in and outside the venue and delegates were seen trying to gain entrance into the center. As each delegate arrives, accreditation is done before getting the final nod to go into the hall. Governor Markindi arrived at the venue and pass through the same routine check. Chairman of the Electoral Congress Committee, Governor Samuel Autumn, represented by his deputy, Benson Abonu, alongside other members of the committee, had received the delegates' tags and, and order voting materials at about 11.20 a.m. With almost all the 743 delegates seated, the empty ballot boxes displayed in front. Officials of the Independent National Electoral Commission were present to observe, as well as journalists. The contest was set for full opening. Everybody. The Electoral and Congress Chairman, in his opening speech, declared the dissolution of the caretaker committee in place before kick-starting the voting process, which is 
the main business of the day. He urged all parties to sheath their sword, irrespective of whoever the contest favors. The PDP, according to him, is one big happy family. As far as this panel is concerned, we are going to be transparent. We are going to be just. We are going to be fair. And we are going to allow only the right thing to be done. You will see for yourself that everything will be just, fair, free, and transparent. And therefore, I want to admonish every one of you that when the result is out, take it that that is the way God has ordained it to be. Then, what came as astonishing and unexpected happened? Former Governor of Ikita State Ayodili Fayoshi strolled into the hall. He walked down to Governor Sheyi Makinde. Both men exchanged hugs, whispered into each other's ears as the delegates all applauded. In their separate remarks, both maintained their resolve to abide with whatever the outcome and result of the contest is. This is a family affair. It is an attempt to reposition our party in the South West. It has ramification of our party national. So whatever the outcome is, we'll take it in the spirit of the family members. We don't want to defeat ourselves. We want to defeat ABC. So at the end of this exercise, I promise you there will be no victor, no vanquish. As your only governor in this zone, whoever emerges belongs to me. Another drama also occurred. The chairman announced that the appeal panel, based on available evidences, Mr. Detola Femi, was disqualified, leaving Bamidele Sheyi Abiola as the only candidate for the position of youth leader. And in consonance with the peace that we've achieved in our party this afternoon, gladly. Now the coast became clear for the business of the day. Ikiti State's delegates took the lead. They all moved from one box to another, dropping the ballot sheets in each box for their preferred candidate. 
Lagos followed almost immediately with Ogun as next in line. Ondo followed, then Oshun delegates with Oyo as the last on the line. For almost three hours, all delegates voted. The young and old, even the physically challenged, were not left out. Voting over, the electoral team commenced sorting and counting, after which the much expected results were announced. Ambassador Taufik Arakwaja emerged the winner of the contest with 343 votes to defeat Dr. Eddie Olafeso of the Governor Fireshay's camp. and chance of victory rents the air. Dr. Edio Lafeso hugged Ambassador Arakwaja and congratulated him. I believe it is our party. There is no other place to go and there is no other party. We will work together, we will concern each other and make sure we move the party forward. All we are saying, as my boss always say, as our leader always say, is that we want to rebuild the party, we want to reposition the party. We are not voting with what we are having at the moment. There used to be a time when we used to have five over six. At that time, we were even calling for so six over six, we were calling for 100 percent. Now we have one over six. That's like 16 point six percent. If you are a student and you have 16 point six percent, I mean that is a thing. We are working for everybody. I will work with them. It's all politics. It's all politics. We have to work together.
Governor Sheyi Markinde, obviously excited, said the PDP will work as a team. I'm uh, quite uh, happy uh, at the outcome generally. Also happy because of the fact that PDP has demonstrated again to the whole world and to Nigerians that uh, we are a democratic uh, party. And you can see both the uh, winner and the loser. They've made their speeches and uh, they've congratulated uh, one another uh, because the process was uh, open and transparent. So it's victory for democracy, victory for our party, PDP, and victory for all the people of uh, southwest of Nigeria and victory for Nigerians generally. Other delegates also called for cohesion amongst party members ahead of future elections. The successful conduct of the Congress, uh, which has gone well without any rancor, without any dispute, attests to the fact that uh, uh, PDP is getting its acts right from this our zone. And if we keep on going in that direction up to the national level, uh, we are certain of victory come 2023. I think we fought a good fight. The time for us to reconcile and come back together as one body is now. We have seen that without each other we cannot manage. And we have only one governor in the whole of the zone. That one governor must be supported to be able to build the party, reposition it, and put it on a winning spree once again. And I believe after tomorrow, we'll start thinking of how to re-engineer the party and re-invent uh, ourselves. Let me just sincerely say that this is not, there is no victor, there is no vanquish. PDP is one big family and we all remain as one. This contest is just a family contest. It's just for us to be able to say, okay, I have interest, you have interest. So, but I can assure you that I will work with uh, uh, Mr. Ayofadaka, that is uh, my contender, because there's nothing we can do all alone. Our target is to install more governors, more uh, elective positions across the Southwest. First and foremost, to show unity of purpose, that PDP is one family in Southwest irrespective of the winner and that is most key for us in 2023 just as the governor his excellency engineer Luashe imagine said that there shouldn't be any issue amongst us that what is most important for us in southwest is to ensure that pdp delivers southwest to i mean we deliver southwest or we win southwest in 2023 so that is key so what has happened here has shown that PDP is still very strong. PDP is still on ground in Southwest. The beauty of democracy, well organized um, zona congress where the executives uh, were elected, and it all went well. No rancor, no crisis. Uh, everybody accepted the verdict, and uh, it shows that uh, PDP is an organized party. Well, yeah, we may have differences, but we have a democratic way of resolving our differences. And that is what we have seen today. You know, the leader of the party in the Southwest shows leadership that, look, let us organize ourselves in an orderly manner, which was what uh, we actually achieved. All the ballots were counted, and finally a team emerged comprising of
the just successfully concluded Southwest Zonal Congress of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, no doubt, is an evidence of the collective resolve to reposition the party and return it to winning ways. So, as we heartily congratulate the new Southwest executives, it is hoped that every member of the party will agree that there is no victor and no vanquished. Rather, it should be viewed as a moment to genuinely reconcile and bury all differences, forge ahead strongly, re-examine ethos and values, and most importantly, start re-strategizing on how to win back the Nigerian masses into the PDP foe ahead of the year 2023 elections. Congratulations to the People's Democratic Party. We came. We saw.